everyone and welcome to or welcome back to Norris Cove. If you're new here, I'm Yoshida. I'm a self-employed hairstylist and I like to get my life together by planning my budget, planning my finances, and planning my life minimally and functionally. So if that sounds like something that you would be interested in, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, and leave me a comment in the comment section letting me know that you are new here so that I can welcome you to the Cove. Okay everyone, today we are getting into... I'm trying to decide. Um, I'm kind of batch recording today. I want to do my budget for the week, but I think I need to do the monthly. I think that's where we need to start because um because I'm paying off debt, I want to set up a kind of a a new system. So here I wrote all this out, what is due, what is behind all those great things because what I found out one of the reasons I got behind on quiet pace was because I was no longer doing my budget I was no longer writing when they were due on the calendar I stopped planning in my planner which I took with me and I would look you know on a day-to-day -day basis and I wasn't doing that so that's kind of semi how the way I got behind plus I just didn't have it do a little planning for the month I'm a little late. Today is the third. I can do kind of mostly my planning on Saturday and content planning because my husband, we share an office. He's not in or either I have to get up early in the morning, but I just forgot to be honest. So I'm going to take these out. I'm going to start writing things in and I'm going to tell you my plan. Also, I have our uh, budget sticker book. I want to put in my payday for when I get paid for the budget box, even though I don't really use that income. But what I'm going to do for the first time in a while is actually take a profit. I normally don't take a profit from um, my business when I do the boxes, <clears throat> but in order to pay off debt, that's what I'm going to do this month because I actually made a profit this <laughs> this time. So let's put, I think the check will come like on the six. And that's another thing. I've already bought some things for the box. So I will need to pay myself back. And then actually I need to put that in the budget as well. So I already actually gave a lot of myself a pay from the business and I've already calculated up. I do a separate, I hope it's making sense, but I do a separate budget for my business and I calculate pretty same way I do my hair business, guesstimate how much I'm gonna make for the month. But what I wanna do going forward is like take care of, let me find it, Canva is due on the 10th. So I'm gonna write Canva. And then what I'm going to do is pay Canva when I get paid from um, the business. I'm going to go ahead and pay Canva. Also, I just released the workbook, so money is coming in from that. I am going to use some of the workbook money to pay off debt and also take care of any business bills. I, I hope I'm being clear. All right, so we got Canva. I know on the 11th, we have a credit card due. Let me see which one I want to use. And sadly, I don't know why I don't um, use it. I guess because I'm just so used to So we got a credit card due here on the 11th. I'm going to use the black one. Alright, let's see. What else do we have to pay? I want to make sure I'm correct. On the 5th, we have Credit One. That's also a credit card. I like to just fill in my stuff because right now, I'm not going to do too much decorating because I want to get everything written down so that I don't forget anything and I don't go over decorating and can't focus. That's just what I need. Okay, we have Apple Music on the 10th. I want to put... I want to put a sticker on my busy weeks 
this is what I used to do and it kind of worked for me and I'll tell you why. So here I'm just going to highlight with a dot sticker. I know coming this week is my busy week hair wise. Plus we got um, some extra income coming in. Well, I'm finally going to take some extra income. And then every other Monday is like my busy week. Every other Saturday or Friday and Saturday is my busy week. So I just like to put it over here on the end because I know this Saturday should be busy. Let me get another one. So this Saturday should be the busy Saturday. And oh, I forgot to put down. I need to go out of town. Luckily, that's not my busy week. I need to be go to Atlanta on Sunday. And then I just put an arrow there so I know that I'll be out of town. So that works out being on my busy week because if I need to use some money, but I'm going to try to take care of everything before all that comes up. Now, let me kind of break down what's going on. Also, let me make a reminder to do taxes this month. I got to get some money together to do my taxes. Huh. I'm going to use this sticker. I ripped this sheet out the first day I got the book, y'all, so it's all good. So I'm going to put a little sticker here as a reminder that I need to do taxes. Let's see. What I did was, and what I believe is going to work for me, I went back to kind of what I used to do. When I was good with budgeting, an overview calendar was just pretty much all I needed. Now, I have filled in my little budget sheet, but here I know what's due. These things I automatically know what's due. These aren't really a problem for me. Now, you see in the red, in the red is all of my quad pays that are late. What I decided to do, because I'm going to finally be paying myself for my business and finally kind of got a profit, I wasn't going to take but $50 because I said, Every other month or every three months will be good, and then next month may be slow. So on those good months, let's say I'll take $100. On a slow month, I'll take $50, if that's the case, to pay towards debt. I wrote in my, I think, my monthly budget that I was going to give myself $200 this month to put towards debt after I pay for everything. Now, I've already bought some things for the box. What is left goes back to the box. And if I have anything left, then I'll put that towards that. I'm kind of giving myself $200. It may not even be that much. It may be $150, but it's okay. I can work with that. And along with me getting working on Monday, and this is my busy Monday, I work on Wednesday. That's a busy day for me. That's going to be some money. So the money I make on Wednesday, I'm paying... This is what I'm paying. Pretty much, I hope I'm being clear. Let me slide this over. And this kind of worked for me. It's almost like manifesting. Let me slide a little bit. If I see this, I know this is what I need to make. Well, I need to make 41.75. I actually need to make more than this, which is $133. High key will. What I make on Wednesday should take care and bring me up on zip, okay? And a farm. A farm is begging for the $50, okay? I may give it to him sooner. Over here, credit one. This is a busy day for me on Monday. Oh, I have I have $89.55 that I can give towards my debt. I will make more than that, but I'm also, I did a cash stuffing video. This video will probably come out after the cash stuffing. I did a cash stuffing video <clears throat> and I said I may come back on Monday and cash stuff some more because I still got to get through the rest of the week. That's why I didn't put any more behind bills on this day. Payday. Again, I am going to possibly pay myself $200. I'm really kind of nervous because I've never done it and I don't want to like screw up the money. 
I'm going to pay myself and I'm going to pay Klarna, $28.22 out of payday money. I didn't put anything else on there because I just really want to see. Okay, so then we go over here to Apple Music. I work Thursday. This is what I can afford. Apple Music, I believe, is, I'm just going to put $12 um, plus $9.87 plus $28.72. $50.59. I already know this day, I don't have a one, but she pays over that. I can afford that. A firm on Friday. Friday, this day is... This is my busy Friday. I don't think this is my busy, busy Friday, but I have... I know what I can make. I can afford to pay this on Friday, which is $38.54. Saturday. This is my busy Saturday. So I have Canva coming out. Now, what I'm going to do with this, <clears throat> my business paycheck, that's going to pay for Canva. And I'm going to also look into, I have GoDaddy. I'm going to try to pay GoDaddy um, as well out of this paycheck because GoDaddy is due at the end of the month. I always let it sit there and wait. No, I'm going to take care of them at the beginning of the month. Um, what else? Shopify. I probably won't be able to take care of Shopify. I really would be in the red. And then again, I probably could. I'm trying to think. Is something else that I pay for my business? Canva. I said Canva. Yeah, so I did this pay. Oh, HP Insta Ink. I think they're on the 15th. Yeah, I have them here. So I'm going to look and see if I can pay for my ink <clears throat> early. Take care of those bills. I need to kind of maybe color code those, but I need the red to stand out for me. That's what I'm going to do this week. Then I have on the 11th, I have Chase due. And actually, Chase is behind, but I don't know exactly how much. So I have Chase. I'll fill that in later. And then next week, it's my slow week, kind of. So on the 12th, I have a customer. I could take care of my Navy Federal credit union card with that, which is only $20. But then see, here comes the problem. On the 15th, everything is due. Capital One, Instant Inc., Klarna, and Affirm. So what I may do, if there's money left, I may take care of these little small things. I don't think I work this Thursday, but it could always change. But I work here, so I can possibly take care of the Capital One. I'm always pretty on time on Capital One. So I can take care of Capital One and possibly these bills. And then on Saturday, Citibank is due. I have not paid them. Matter of fact, I need to put them in red because I have not paid them in a few months because I just didn't have it. And the way that they fall, it just doesn't never fall on the right day. But here on Sunday, Affirm, we should have this amount. Also, my booth rent is due. <clears throat> and then we go into the next week, T-Mobile, Barclays, and then I'll be going out of town. But this will be my busy week. The way that I'm looking at it, and I hope that it makes sense, when I do these two little dots, that brings my attention to my busy week. What can I pay that's down here that may fall on a slow week? I mean, this is entrepreneur life. Also, I need to get taxes. That's why I got taxes over here. I need to pay my tax lady. I need the tax money. So I got to come up with $300. Well, I'm going to put 350 because, and I'm putting it in red so I can see it. She is normally around 350 and that's my discount. This is how my monthly is looking. I'm going to also, what I did last month was put little boxes for me to put in how much I made for the week. I didn't fill them in, but I'm going to do that later. I just actually got to print some more. So I'm going to do that. Sometimes I will color code with ice milk, like what is a credit card, but I don't really need that this month because I know. I still may do it later, but I'm looking at all this red. That is blowing me. That is it, really, for my monthly. I'm not going to do a bunch of decorating. Like I said, I just did those. If I feel, once I start paying off some of this debt, I might feel a little more happy <laughs> to decorate. Uh, let's see. Okay. Here we have it. This is my monthly. It's going to look a mess right now. I'm comfortable with that because I'd rather it look a mess and look like this and bring my eye to these things that are behind. This pretty much is how I'm going to pay off my debt using my regular income. Also, let me show you all real quick before I don't. 
Oh, did I put that on my card note? Hold on, let me see. Oh, Lord, no. I didn't even put down my car note. I had to put down my car note. Everything's due on the 15th. We got to free up something. Oh, Lord. What I did was, I don't know about you guys, but this is what I've done. I've already done my budget this away. I put down hair. This is a guesstimate. The good thing, you know, about it, and I guess not so good thing, is that I am self-employed. I can sometimes make more than this. I have been having $4,000 months. It just don't look like it on a weekly basis. But because it's that slow period of time, I'm just going to guess to make $3,700. It could typically, like I said, sometimes we've gotten to $4,500. I like to stay on the low end, just in case I have extra. I put $100 I want to put towards saving. I really want to put more than that. With cash envelopes, the way that I did my cash envelope breakdown, I realized last week I had $300. That was from my busy week. Then I did my slow week, which was this week, which was like $100. $100 and the $300, that's $400. So I broke it down to basically $750 because one week may be just a little less. That left me with $850 here. My income, $3,900. Gas, I don't drive much that more. My, I don't drive. I'm trying to keep my driving at a minimum and only have to get gas every two weeks. It's running me between $67 and $70. So $140. Groceries. When I did my math on that, what I've been spending, $280. Products, I got $125. This really can come down some because I split with my coworker. But I want to leave it because I want to get back to getting things that I need. Miscellaneous, $400. And then once I calculated all my bills up, that's including um, the Affirms, the Zips, and the Klarnas. And these are actually the ones that are behind. That'll be $3,001.73. And then after I did the math, subtracting, I need an extra $896.73 or an extra $1,000. That's not a problem. Now, the reason I say it's not a problem because, again, this goes up sometimes to an extra thousand or eight hundred. I can definitely pull that off. Also, I'm using the money from the sale of the workbook to pay off debt. So if I make a sale, actually, I just sold two over the weekend, but the money won't come until Tuesday. I'll take that money. That's going to help me pay off the debt. So it really won't be coming out of this, which is the income I'm paying myself from the business. Well, I guess it would. Yeah, it kind of would. Yeah, I guess it would. But that's how I did my budget breakdown for the month. It's going to work. I, that's what's going to work for me. Again, I'm self-employed. So I have to do what's going to work. I've, under, I've gotten to the... Um, realization, savings is a non-negotiable for me. Future is a non-negotiable for me. I'm going, I've come to the conclusion also, I'm doing the no eating out challenge, but I understand that that's just something I like to do. I'm going to still eat out, but within moderation. I'm going to cut back. Like, what was it? Like today, I'm not eating dinner out I may go up here and make me a tomato sandwich and call it grace. Maybe buy some chips or something like that to go with the sandwich. But I'm going to get rid of these red. Hopefully, in March, we're going to be out of the red as far as the quad pays. That is it, you guys, for today's video. I hope this video was helpful. If something here that I did today did not make sense or made sense, leave me a comment in the comment section. Let me know so that I can... We can work it out together in the comment section. As always, if you enjoyed today's video and this was your first time watching any of my content, but you enjoyed today's video, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. Also hit that notification bell and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.